Okay, my name is Mr. Cleophas, and today I want to take you through QA. So, I want to do a question, a first paper question, and uh, basic mathematical techniques. That is a concept, the subtopic is functions. So, I want to do a concept under functions. These are, I want to do a past paper question May 2018. May 2018. Question number 1B. May 2018, question number 1B. I'll read the question. It says, the unit price and total cost functions associated with the production and sale of a certain electric component are given by the following equations. So you're given the first equation, the given P is equals to 100 minus 5Q. Then you're given the total cost, which is equals to Q square plus 4Q plus 300. We are told where P is the unit selling price of the electric component, Q is the number of electric components produced and sold, TC is the total cost required, Roman 1, the number of electric components that would maximize profit. So Roman 1, the number of electric components that will maximize profit. So under this topic, whenever you are given uh, such, fun such equations and you are required to get the number of electric components, the number is the quantity, Q is the quantity or the units. So that is what you need, but what will maximize profit? So the first thing you need to ask yourself how to get is this bit of getting the profit. After getting the profit function, then because you need to maximize the profit, it needs the number that will maximize profits, get the profit function. After the profit function, you differentiate that profit function. So whenever you are told any number or the maximum profit or the number to maximize profit, First, get the profit function, then you differentiate that profit function. It will depend whether the question or the equation after differentiating will be a quadratic equation or you can solve for the value of x if it is not quadratic function in nature where you need to use a quadratic formula. So ask yourself, how do you get the profit first? So profit, which is power, is equals to total revenue minus the total cost. From whatever the examiner has given you, ask yourself how do you get this total revenue? Do you, do you know how to get total revenue because it is not given? This one you're not given, but I can see we are given the total cost. So total cost we are given, it is here, total cost function. So you need to know how to get revenue. So one thing we know from even section two, management accounting and also economics, and also many concepts we did in high school, to get the revenue, which is the total sales, it is the selling price per unit times the number of units, the other quantity. Now, what are you given? I have seen P is here. This is the equation for P, meaning for profit, even for price function. So P is equals to, so that is the P. So instead of writing now P, I will have this equation, 100 minus 5Q. So this is P. Multiply by the Q because Q is the unit. That's what you are told. Multiply by Q and that is your total revenue. So your total revenue function will be equals to 100 times Q, it is 100 Q. Minus 5 Q times Q, it is 5 Q squared. So I have the revenue function, I have the cost function. So I can get the yeah. profits. So my profit function will be the total revenue function, which is here, 100 Q minus 5 Q squared. 
costs. That is the revenue less the costs, less that cost function. And our cost function is here Q squared. So let me have it here. See, the revenue is 100Q. I'll have it here. 100Q minus 5Q squared. Then minus the cost, which is here, Q squared. Minus Q squared. Plus 4Q. Then my plus 300. Is 300. So that is it. Let's open these brackets. Let's open the brackets. This will be equals to 100Q minus 5Q squared minus Q squared. Then this will be minus 4Q because this negative is positive. 4Q then negative positive to be negative 300. Let's collect the like terms. 100Q minus 4Q. This one and this one, put them together, this will be 96Q. Minus 5Q squared minus Q squared. These ones, so they are like terms, it will be minus 6 Q squared. Then we have minus 300. So that is your profit function. But the examiner is asking for the output or the number of electric components that will maximize profit. Whenever you, you hear now of profit maximization, you must differentiate the function. Remember the rules for differentiating? You are differentiating any function. You multiply the power with the base value and then you reduce the power by one. I've said multiply the power with the base value and then you reduce the power by one. This is what I mean. This key is raised to power one. So I need to say change. I can say change or the D, D profit all over DQ would be equals to one because this is q is raised to power one one times 96 that is 96 q reduce the power by one it remains raised to power zero because it was raised to power one so any number raised to power zero it is one so it is like saying now 96 times one which is 96 minus two times six this will be 12 but reduce the power of q there by one to remain but to be 12 q then there's something you need to ask yourself and to know when you're differentiating Whenever you differentiate a constant, you get zero. Or there is no Q under this part of the function. We are differentiating change. We are checking on the change on in profit due to the change in Q. We do not have Q there. Or the derivative of this constant, which does not have the variable, is equals to zero. So there is no need of writing minus zero plus zero. So, and the first order condition, whenever you differentiate a function the first time, we have the first order condition, which is the very necessary condition, which requires you to equate the function to zero. So after differentiating, you must put is equals to zero. That is the condition for differentiation. Now we need to get Q. It's like saying now 96 is equals to, this will go the other side, it will be 12 Q. Divide by 12 to get Q, divide by 12. So your Q will be 96 divided by 12. 96 divided by 12. And my answer is 8 electric components. So that is uh, how many marks? Already we have 4 marks. That is 4 marks. Then we go to Roman 2. Requires the maximum profit. Maximum maximum profit so it's just knowing your profit function where you have it then you you substitute wherever you have q you'll substitute with eight where's our profit function it is here is our profit function so profit is equals to 96 but where we have q we put eight so 96 q but instead we have 96 times eight minus six times 80 squared then minus 300 so you need to get that that will be your maximum profit okay we have here 96 multiplied by 8 
Now 6 multiply. So 96 multiply by 8. This is coming to 96 times 8. I'm getting 7. 68. So you have 768 minus. So this is 768 minus. We have 8 squared times 6. 384 minus 300. So this will be equals to. So let's have 7. 68 minus 384 and minus 300 and I'm getting 84 shillings so we have 84 shillings that is what we are having then from there that is Roman 2 and our Roman 2 is uh, 2 max it is 2 max so we go to Roman 3 we go to Roman 3 so allow me to go to Roman 3. We see what Roman 3 is saying. We need to get that Roman 3. So Roman 3 is saying the maximum total revenue. So let me do my Roman 3 here. Maximum total revenue. So let's see our revenue function first. We had our revenue. It was this bit here. Our total revenue we had as 100Q minus 5Q squared now the question is the maximum revenue meaning whenever you hear of maximum or maximization first differentiate that function get the units to maximize that revenue or that profit then you substitute in that function so if it is you need to maximize if you want maximum revenue differentiate them the revenue function get the q or the x depending with what the, equ the equation is using then after that you need now to go to your equation if it's the revenue function that function you when you equate in the function the q you have so differentiate the function the revenue function then you go to that function substitute after getting the units or the number of units to maximize revenue so let's see this you must differentiate whenever you, you hear of maximization so change in the total revenue or what you call the d Change in the total revenue, my the total revenue cost by may change in Q. So differentiate one times hundred, that is one hundred, reduce the power by one, it remains to be zero. This will be two times negative five, this will be minus ten. Reduce the power by one, it will be raised to power one. So it will be ten Q. Whenever you differentiate a function the first time, that is the first order condition, of, as I've said, you must equate this equation of a function into zero so that you can get Q. So now 100 is equal to 10 Q. Please never forget that bit of uh, equating the function to zero. Otherwise, you'll never get any question right under differentiation. So after you have that, you can get your Q. So your Q is equal to 10 units so if the examiner requires required the units to maximize the revenue we should have stopped it at that point but the examiner requires the maximum revenue so after getting these units substitute in the revenue function where you have q you put now 10 and then you'll have your revenue or your maximum revenue so let me have that bit here so that we finalize on that question and it will be fully done so we have the revenue function is here 100 so the maximum revenue will be equals to this 100 but whenever you have q you substitute 10 so 100 times 10 minus 5 q squared meaning minus 5 q squared meaning 10 squared this will be like 1000 minus 10 squared 100 times 5 is 500 so this will be 500 our shillings they were in thousands. So that is what the examiner required. And imagine we have eight marks within that very short time. And that is what the examiner required, the maximum total revenue, meaning the revenue in shillings. So that is a question for this year, May 2018, question number 1B. Ensure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can get more alerts whenever there is anything I'm posting, and you can even consider sharing my link to different people who need to get assistance in these units. Remember, I am teaching QA, I teach QA, I teach auditing, I teach also advanced auditing and assurance. I also teach 
management accounting. So keep in touch, keep following me. We are located at Commonwealth House. So if you want to come and visit me physically, you can just come to Nairobi, Nairobi Moy Avenue. Opposite Galitos, there is a building called Commonwealth House. You come to fifth floor, you'll ask for Mr. Cleophas, you'll get me there. We shall talk more if you meet me, we shall now get to know each other. And if you want to reach me, maybe through a phone call or a WhatsApp, you can just call me or WhatsApp me in case of any assistance through this number 0714 I've said 0714 691. So thank you and you can come to regional college if you want to get even more and more in class for physical classes. That's where you are located, the regional college. It is located at Commonwealth House. So thank you guys. Let's meet in our next lesson.